Hi guys, Drumat here with a new guide on how to actually do better with overnerfed Talia. I also made a new section on my guide on LOL King. You have link in the description. I believe this game I'm showing you right now had enough different moments from which I can explain lots of things and so I will split this video in chapters from the same game. This is a ranked game at 50 LP in Diamond 1. I really hope this will be useful for you all. So let's get this started then. I will replay now this clip to explain what I have to explain. So what do we see here? We see an early game fight. What I try to do here and always try to do is poke my enemy hard enough so I can hard engage on them. Now in this scenario I don't want to fight Fizz after level 6 so I try to damage him as much as possible early. What you always have to take in consideration is the fact that the enemy jungler might be always nearby and so you have to fight and escape. I noticed Elise was bot in this case so of course I went for it and killed Fizz. Remember to always use your potions at the start of the fight. When you notice your jungler goes bot and their bot lane is slightly over pushed, go with them, go and use your ultimate and try to secure some kills. Remember to always use your ultimate for future enemy positions. Think where they would go and use it there. Again, every time you gank, try to think where the enemy jungler is and how he will affect the fight. If you are not that experienced, Talia is very easy to gank and that's okay, there is no shame in dying to a gank. All you have to do is compensate by doing your ganks well or just surviving till mid game comes and you have your core items. Talia has great big potential due to her W and lots of people don't think that she can insta kill them or put them in a nasty position. So abuse your W spell as often as possible. There are lots of moments in which you can use your ultimate not only to gank enemy team but to defend your team from them. Your ultimate has a high range and not a lot of people expect you to be there instantly from mid lane. So use this to your advantage and help your team as often as possible. As you can see here, the entire team fight was turned around because the enemy team tried to help Fizz escape. After this little trade, I simply walked to bot lane using my passive near walls. A lot of people don't expect Talia to be that quick and as you notice in my videos I always do this and always works. As you will soon notice in this clip, I use Flash to catch Fizz with my W. Now this is a bad idea, 90% of the time you will have to keep your Flash for defensive plays, because simply you, are, you aren't that mobile, you need your Flash to kite better. Of course use your Flash to catch their ADC if you think he's out of position and this will win the game, but that's very rare and unlikely to happen most of the times. My favorite thing about Talia is her power to create objective control. Her wall will always and always create a nasty position for the enemy team at Baron, at Drake, at Inhibitor, so use it wisely. Master this spell in teamfights and in objective controls and in ganks. There are three ways to use it. In ganks, in lane ganks, defensive and offensive. In uh, objectives where you can defend or attack on objective so you can get it and of course in team fights where you trap the enemy team in walls and near walls and separate them. I won countless games with Talia just because I knew when to engage with my ultimate. Having this knowledge of when and where to go with your ultimate will decide your game and most of the time will help you win if you do it properly. I really loved this game as it had nearly everything I wanted to talk about in a guide 
and uh, yeah I really hope it was useful if you are still new to Talia and just found my video I have a full complete Talia guide on working which you can check in the description and yeah I really hope she will get buffs and she will be stronger and stronger so uh, I want to thank you all for staying with me and I really hope this video was useful and yeah thank you so much for watching